Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to be running a sample of little tiny electric motors and transformers through our scrap line. And this behind me is our 24 by 16 HD hammer mill. It currently has about a half inch by four inch long slot in it, and it's run with a 30 horse three phase electric motor. The material is going to discharge down onto this conveyor belt, which is going to carry it all up under to a cross belt magnet. This will pull out the steel fraction, anything magnetic, down into here. The non-ferrous and non-magnetics are going to go up through a zigzag. This is designed to be hooked up to an air classification system, but today we're not going to run it for the customer, per the customer specification. And then the non-ferrous is going to fall down into the wooden box there. So let's go take a look at the sample we're going to run. So here's the sample we're going to be running today, and these are little tiny transformers, little electric motors. As you can see, they have plastic and little metal and steel in with a bunch of copper, which is, for this customer, the valuable, the valuable material we're going to try and recover. So we'll run this through a hammer mill and show you guys how it works. Okay, so here's the sample after we ran it through the scrap line. And I wanted to show you the two fractions. This is, we'll start with the copper fraction, or the non-ferrous fraction. And this is everything that went under the magnet. And I didn't run the vacuum because it would have sucked up these little tiny hair wires here that we wanted to catch. And because those are so light and have so much surface area, those would go up the, the vacuum and something like this big piece of plastic would not, it'd fall down through. So with this sample, because the non-ferrous was so light and uh, it had so much surface area, we couldn't separate very well by, by just using the vacuum. This is the steel fraction here, and it had pretty good separation. Every once in a while there was a little piece like this that still had some copper wrapped up in it. But the interesting thing about this sample is because there's no large steel in it, large shafts or big pieces of steel, you could actually get away with running a smaller slot or maybe even a, a hole and you probably liberate more copper. We had the half inch slot, that's all we had at the time, so I'd even say a three eighths or maybe even a quarter inch slot and you'd liberate pretty much all the copper at that point. So we're gonna take this and run it on our uh, PCB uh, processing system. We ended up running about 40 pounds and it's uh, about two thirds steel and about a third copper for you guys' information. So let's run it through our uh, PCB system and see how it goes. So here's our number three bucket, and I'm not quite sure how much copper is going to come down in number three, so we're going to treat this as kind of a middlings fraction, and if we have to, we can rerun it through the system to help get the copper over and separate the paper and plastic from it. And here's the number one and the number two. We're going to capture, hopefully, clean copper in these two ports. And there is a little bit of contamination from our residual boards in the mill and in the system, so we may get a little bit of residual uh, fiberglass and board material in these number one and number two. That's just residual. So if we can look past that and look at the wire, hopefully we get the wire clean of all the plastic and paper from our sample of motors we ran.
So here's the results of our wire through the PCB system. And as mentioned earlier, there's a little bit of contamination in here from boards, but you can see I combined the number one and the number two, and it's pretty much all metal. There's a little bit of brass in there, and his sample actually had a little bit of boards, uh, some boards in there too. So, um, but there's all the metal fraction, and this is the number four, and also it's contaminated by some board stuff, but I think a lot of that yellow stuff was the plastic off the little transformers and the black plastic um, from some of his little motors and stuff. There's hardly any copper in there. So I think we did a really pretty good job of separating the copper and the, and the plastic. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.